everybody, back again. I uh, wanted to do a really quick follow-up on our Lightning Lane premiere video from yesterday. Uh, lots of really great feedback. Thank you for all watching. Uh, I'll link to it here. Uh, make sure you click below to subscribe, all that crap. Um, but this, this video, really quick, is a message for a particular group of Disney fans that are essentially telling everybody who has questions or issues with the new Lightning Lane Premiere Pass that if you don't like it, you should just stop going to Disney. So I'm just going to put this as plainly as I can. Nobody that I've seen, nobody including myself, is complaining that Lightning Lane Premiere Passes are a thing. Nobody. For 99.9999% of us, it is something that we are never going to use. I mentioned in the video yesterday that I don't think it's going to have a huge impact other than uh, vloggers doing it to make content at the beginning when it goes on sale at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. That is not the, that is not the issue that people have with Lightning Lane Premiere Pass. The issue that people have, including myself, is that Disney had a chance to fix a broken system and didn't do it. That's that's it. That's the, that's the issue. Um, if you don't think that Lightning Lane is broken, then that's on you because it is obviously very broken uh, between the changes to the Lightning Lanes. How many times have they changed it now? They've changed the name. All the different things. Obviously, all of the issues with DAS compounded this immensely. All anybody is asking for is for them to fix DAS because it is completely broken right now and to have a system in place that is more similar uh, to Express at Universal where you're not having a $35, you can pick a time to do this and that uh, thing. Make it you know, $200, $250 a day, whatever it is you're now having three different levels of lightning lanes between the lightning lane multi-pass to the single lightning lane and now this premier pass. That is all that anybody's asking for. It's not that, oh, this this, this, this last straw, I'm never going to Disney again. I even mentioned in our video, you know, we're still going to Disney next week. We're going to Disney World in, uh, in, in January for the Dopey. You know, we're making plans to go back before our Walt Disney World passes expire in early May of next year. You know, these are all things that we're doing. We're, we have magic keys. We're not saying we're, this is not the, you know, this is the last straw. That's not what anybody is saying. And it, what people are saying is Disney fix, instead of compounding the issue and adding and adding and adding and adding and adding more things to a broken system, Disney doesn't even have to admit that it's broken. Just fix it. Fix have one lightning lane period this is what it is this is what it costs more than what it costs now to still get your precious lightning lane money but yet not impact standby lines and fix das that is literally what people are asking for it's not that hard so people are not mad about the 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 premier pass the lightning lane premier pass it doesn't affect me it's not going to affect the lightning lanes <laughs> I think that what's going to happen is you're going to get so many people that do use it, people that do pay that amount, you're going to get so many guest complaints about lines in the lightning lanes from people that are still using it, paying $35 a day. And unfortunately, you know what's going to happen. It's not going to be the people that implement this policy that get the earful. It's going to be frontline CMs and it's going to be city hall or guest relations or whatever it is that is going to take the brunt of the pushback on this. Okay, so if anything, I think we're actually looking out for cast members in this regard because they're the ones that are going to get get it uh, from people that are paying four hundred dollars a day to still wait in twenty to thirty minute lines for Guardians of the Galaxy or Indiana Jones or Radiator Spring Racers. So that's that's literally everybody's thing. So thank you for coming to my TED Talk. 